There's an old biblical legal maxim that goes an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. For Canadian Brent Chapman, his new maxim is a tooth for an eye because he has become the first in his country ever to receive an osteodonto keratoprothesis. If your Latin is on point, you'll realize that translates to tooth in the eye prosthetic. Literally, Chapman's tooth has been surgically implanted into his eye to act as a lens fixture, which has enabled him to see again. It's considered a last resort, and after 50 surgical transplants and procedures, that's where Chapman was, alongside his dedicated ophthalmological surgeon, Dr. Greg Maloney, who has been putting Chapman under the knife since he was a teenager. Now 34, Brent suffered a rare reaction to ibuprofen at age 13 that left severe burns on his cornea. The cornea acts like a windscreen, keeping debris and liquid out of the eyeball while allowing light to penetrate and reach the retina and optic nerve. But the burns permanently obscured his vision in his right eye while his left eye was lost entirely to infection. The tooth in the eye surgery is rare, very rare. So rare that despite being pioneered in the 1960s, Chapman's procedure is the very first ever done in Canada. According to Dr. Maloney, it's turned to when all other options have already been tried and failed, or the initial damage to the cornea is so substantial that the ophthalmologists know there is no chance conventional replacements or grafts will succeed. The tooth is chosen because it's made of the hardest material produced by the body. A hole is drilled through the canine tooth and a high-tech lens is fitted inside. The tooth is then attached to the cheek through the eye. An aperture to the retina and optic nerve is created so that the light can enter the lens and reach it. With glasses, Chapman has about 20-30 vision, meaning at 20 feet, he can see clearly what someone with perfect vision can see at 30 feet. Dr. Maloney spoke with CNN about the procedure, the bizarre sense in it, and the effect it has on people. The tooth is a real ideal structure for holding a focusing element in place. It's hard, it's rigid, it survives in poor environments, and the body accepts it because it's part of its own, said the corneal surgeon from the University of British Columbia. It's like watching people come out of a time capsule and reintroduce themselves to the world. It's very emotional for us. Chapman agreed. It's really indescribable to be able to see the whole city and how there's a whole world just intersecting, said Chapman, looking out at Vancouver from Maloney's office on the 16th floor. When you're blind or low vision, you're not seeing that, and you're kind of in your head more. There's a lot more mental chatter, and it can be difficult. Dr. Maloney and I made eye contact for the first time, and we both got quite emotional. I haven't really made eye contact in 20 years. He's excited to see the faces of his beloved niece and nephew, four and two years old, and also to return to a normal work schedule. He enjoys massage work because it means that he can help others who have pain and give back, in a sense, for all the treatments he's received over the years. He can't wait to not make everything about me, go to Japan, and not have to worry about plans falling through or piling various medications and emergency contacts into his luggage, in phone case, 